Well, hello, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgos, let's go ahead and get into your reading. These cards, cards are not familiar. It's okay. I just have to use them. They've been on my deck for a very long time. <laughs> so I'll explain to you what it means, okay? Let's get into your reading, Virgo. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. So the queen, ooh, the queen of swords. And right next to it is the knight of wands. Somebody is getting cut away. And if they didn't get cut away, if they if they haven't, they will. But it looks like you guys have cut somebody away. Like with the quickness. This is in your first position. So someone is like, this is over with. This is done. Don't have time for it. <laughs> All right, so, um, oh, you have two knights here. So, I mean, you it's you guys could have more than one person. Um, a, a very hasty, hasty type of energy in the middle. Um, you cut someone off and it looks like um, someone is coming back in. Could be the same person, could be a different person. But you, what are you feeling? Is this 10 of cups? That's what you're feeling. Contentment, emotionally fulfilled, all of that. Now, we already know why the Queen of Swords is there because you are not dealing with no player. You're not dealing with people who are coming in and out, dealing with all these different people. You're not dealing with that. Um, now, the Knight of Swords could talk about them rushing back in, but it also could be someone new. It could be uh, an air sign, someone new coming in for you. Okay? But whoever it is that's coming in for you, they're definitely making you happy here with the Ten of, Ten of Cups. I love it. What's at the bottom of the deck? Six of Swords. Oh, so someone is coming in to make peace. Now, this is this could be you guys moving in a more peaceful direction. And when you do, you find your happiness. Okay. All right. Okay. Virgo came out with the Queen of Swords this morning. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get some more cards for you. Whoa. Watch out. Virgo. I'm not used to that. I know you guys do it, but <laughs> not in the first position. You guys are like, listen, you got to go. Here with the Page of Swords. Hmm. Oh, I have a full card. Someone is coming in here. New beginnings. Oh, all four of them fell. Okay. I have Ten of Wands, which talks about burdens being put down, relief, possibly when someone else come in or whoever. And the Ten of Swords. Wow, a lot of endings and brand new beginnings. Look at this, 10, 10, 10. Whoa. So this is all new beginnings from this card all over. Brand new beginnings. Putting down and starting. At the bottom of the deck, Five of Pentacles. Remember yesterday I was telling you guys about that energy of feeling like trapped, can you guys see that? It's almost the same thing. Look at how she's on the floor, on the ground. Can you guys see that? This is where you guys have been. Very depressed, very sad, a lot of missing energy. You guys really, really love your person and you really miss them. Um, you know, I, I the only thing I can say is by this reading, there's going to be something that's going to make you so happy. Um, I know by the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, it's been such a burden. It's been so painful. It's been so hurtful. Um, but yeah, seeing seeing this brand new beginning in your emotions, we're just going to see what is going to come in. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's clarify these cards. And, you know, Three of Pentacles, there was some type of interference. You can see it again here with the Knight of Wands. So... Yeah, you got to cut it away if that's what you have to do. So let's go ahead and get the Queen of Swords. Sorry. I got this big deck. So this is you, Virgo, came out. Listen, Virgo, this is not your other person. This came out with you. You may have taken a long time to meditate on this, but when you, but when you figured out what you needed to do, you're like, this is over with. I'm cutting this away. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, five of wands, all this conflicting energy, other people being involved. Yeah, big time. 
big time energy here. Let's go ahead and get that Knight of Wands. <sighs> Virgo. <clears throat> And I know it hurt. I was just about to say that. I know it hurt because of this Five of Pentacles, especially her balled up like that. Um, I've been getting emails from you guys, so I know I know what you guys are going through. I mean, and you really, you had so much love for this person. You really, really did. Um, and I mean, you talk about a lot of disappointment, a lot of crying, a lot of disappointment here. Okay. Um... But you have other options here with the Nine of Pentacles. Talk about you guys having other options. You guys being beautiful and having other options. People who want you. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you get kind of trapped in this thinking and this mind, you know, this mindset that like just because you you are you fall in love with someone or you really dig someone, that that's the only person. And it's it's not. It's just such a microcosm of the world. Um, but we kind of put ourselves, we put them up there and inflate what's going on. And it happens with everyone. Um, so just know they're not the only one. And this is why I say here with this Knight of Swords, I really do believe that, you know, someone new in the future, when once you guys heal, will come in. And that's the reason why this burden will be gone. And for some of you, it will be someone from the past once they realize how much you mean to them. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the Knight of Swords. So for a, a, a lot of you, this is going to be your past person. We got the Nine of Cups here. Look how happy you are. But I mean, you are really hurt by what they've done. Look at how excited you are here with the Ace of Wands. So man, Virgo, they're coming in. But right now, um, I do see a lot of um, a lot of pain that you guys are going through. Okay. But once they do, you're going to be relieved. You're going to put down a burden. And this also talks about someone new. The Six of Cups talks about soulmate energy also. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the Ten of Cups. So this is saying you've been depressed and sad. That's going to turn around into being happy and fulfilled and content. Okay. Okay. Amazing, amazing energy. Absolutely amazing. So let's get this page of swords. Your person views you as um, committal energy. People see you that way. You see, she has the sunglasses on. People literally see you that way. They view you that way. I just think that you guys have kind of lost sight because of all the mess that has happened. And, you know, just because of what they do, it's not a reflection on you. It's just that's just what they're doing. Obviously, they're figuring it out for a lot of you. Um, but look at how they're viewing you. Long term commitment. You're very valuable. You're very beautiful and abundant and pleasurable here with the Empress. And not just that here with the Hierophant. So you will be in a committed relationship. It's just that initial difficulty. That's one reason I love the I Ching of love cards. That's like one of my favorite cards because I feel like starting off, off in a love relationship, it's, it seems difficult for some people just because it depends on how intense the connection is, okay? So you guys, it's coming. It's coming. Um, they definitely view you that way, okay? So let's go ahead and get the full card. What is this brand new beginning here? What are you taking a leap of faith in? For Virgo. And when you do, look how happy you are. Look how happy. Two, <laughs> this is so funny. Two sons. You're going to be really happy. There's going to be a long-term committed relationship. That's why. And I like the fact that it's not just saying past here. It's saying whoever comes in, and it's going to be different for every last one of you. But whoever comes in, this is going to be it. They're going to love you. You're going to love them. This is going to be an amazing connection, Virgo. So it's not just the past. This is also a new connection. Let's get the Ten of Wands. Ooh. So here, you've put so much energy and time in this person. You're just tired. 
this is what this is the relief this is this is truly the burden that's being put down because you put so much energy so much time in this person and now someone is coming in and they're going to love you and they're going to treat you right and you're so excited about it because we saw the ace of wands and they're going to be someone who's like a soulmate to you okay that's why someone who's going to love you their heart chakra is open here so let's go ahead and get the ten of swords And look at how look at how optimistic and how victorious you're feeling here. So even though this ending happened, you're not going to stay in this position forever. Okay, you're going to feel very victorious, very happy. Um, and then look at what's at the bottom of the deck. This is new and reigniting love. You're going to have a relationship here, Virgo. So just stay optimistic is what the Six of Wands is saying. Heal. Be able to heal from what has happened in the past. And love is going to come in. The universe got you. Okay. So Virgo, I love you guys with all my heart. Um, again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys back here again tomorrow. Bye, Virgo.